Introduction Lost in the Wilderness of Confusion and Uncertainty On January 26, 2015, my life changed forever. My sister gave birth to my niece. She was born prematurely and was placed in NICU for a week or so to monitor her health condition. I was angry, tired, and terrified. Angry at a system that would give an intellectually disabled, formerly referred to as mentally retarded, woman autonomy. I was angry that the system wouldn't help my husband and me every time my sister ran away to the streets. I cried out to the Lord, rolling in my tears each and every night for my sister. I was angry there was nothing in place after high school for my sister after Morris Brown College closed its doors. My grandmother didn't know what to do. The only program she knew about designed to assist my sister after high school was Morris Brown College. Everyone tried to tell us what we should do and how we should do it, but we were the only ones living it. I did not know what to do, but I did the best I could. My sister was lost to the streets, trying to claim a sense of freedom and adulthood in a dangerous world. She eventually got pregnant, and the Department of Family and Children's Services, DFCS, wanted me to take her child. I was determined not to have any more children after the birth of my last born, but God has a funny way of doing things. My husband was so supportive when I decided to fight to keep my niece with her family. He has been my rock, and I love him so much for that. I'm a private person, but I want to share a piece of my heart with you. I want to share my story in hopes that no one else will have to go through the pain and uncertainty my family has experienced for the last seven years. I know you may feel lost right now in the day-to-day -day struggles of finding the resources and assistance needed for your intellectually disabled student. No one seems to know how to guide you through the process. It's time to come out of the wilderness of confusion and into the light of clarity and direction. When you're lost in the wilderness, there are tools you will need to survive until the search and rescue team arrives. You will need a flashlight, GPS system, compass, and a tent to weather the storm. Beware of detours, hidden dangers, and make sure to STOP, stop, Think, observe, prepare. By the end of this book, you will no longer feel alone, lost, or confused. You will find the help you need, and I will navigate you through from beginning to end.